The Awakening by Jacob Osa. You are going to die. At least you have three months more. The female doctor spilled the truth of the situation to Jojo, whose joy had quickly sublimed into thin air. Jojo sat for some time, not knowing what to think or believe. That was not what he was expecting to hear coming to see the doctor. Jojo Bediako had been the most dummy and less intelligent student in all his class. He could not just see himself become any of the great professions his colleagues fantasized of becoming. He was dumb, and all he knew was football and nothing else. He tried to be better, but still he ended up being the same person he was. When it came to examinations, he was always on the looking for the nearest person to copy, and that had been his lifestyle till he had got into the university. Now in the university, he had made a sacred decision to find out what could be done to amplify his brain, hoping he could also be intelligent like the colleagues he knew. After Jojo informed his parents of his decision, they marveled at their son and asked, how was he going to do that? Jojo did not have any fair idea himself. Then one day, he had paid a visit to a friend who was a doctor and they had had a long conversation. The friend talked about how he was doing well academically and how he hoped for more. Jojo looked on head with the fact that he had sat home for four years after graduating from high school just because his grades were not good enough to get him admitted into the university. And now, all his colleagues he started school with were all done and were occupying bigger positions in Ghana and were living the life of, his, of their dreams. While in conversation, his colleague got a call and after the call ended, Jojo's friend informed Jojo about a friend of his who was working on a technology that could amplify the brain capacity of humans. Meaning, if you are less intelligent, her technology can make you more intelligent. Jojo could not believe that, but after the conversation had ended, Jojo was a believer. So, Jojo quickly obtained the contact office of the doctor and had gone to see her about his plight of less intelligence. The female doctor was little taken back. She was excited and sentimental about the story of Jojo. She then decided she would do what she had not done before. They then scheduled a date for what the doctor termed RAT, a retentive activation therapy that was believed to boost the output of one's brain. The RAT technology was the first of its kind in Africa and the female doctor had not tested it before. But due to the desperation of Jojo, she had decided to try that on him. During the process, Jojo's head was connected to by electrical cables to a power supply. After the doctor injected a calculated amount of caffeine and tyrannine into the floor of Jojo's hypothalamus. After a calculated amount of 0.02 volts of electricity was made to pass through the brain of Jojo for 3 minutes. And that was how the rat technology was performed on Jojo. Two weeks after the rat was performed for Jojo, he had experienced a tremendous brain hyper ability. He could think fast, read fast, calculate fast, absorb knowledge fast, and remember incidents so clearly. His brain had been upgraded indeed. Jojo was the happiest man on earth. All his colleagues in class were now afraid and marveled by the kind of man he had become. He was now academically indefatigable. Then three months later, after the rats had been performed on Jojo, he started experiencing episodes of blank in his brain. He could just forget things, occupied with him experiencing incessant episodes of migraine. Jojo was not too happy about that, so he quickly consulted the doctor again. And after the doctor had performed an MRI scan of his brain, the doctor did not know how to relay the caring states of Jojo's brain. It was macabre. Jojo shrugged for the fourth time and looked on deep into the eyes of the doctor. What did you just say to me, doctor? Jojo muted. The female doctor was saddened by the results of the MRI scan, but that was the truth of the matter. That is the truth of the matter, Jojo. You have three months maximum to leave. The rat I did on your brain might have incurred some injuries on your cerebellum. And as it stands, you still have the hyper brain, but it will not last for the next 
three months. The doctor said, Jojo nodded his head to the situation. I see, doctor. Thank you for the chance to make me smart. I know you may think it's all your fault, but it's mine in the first place. In this last moment of my life, I'll do what no one has ever done in a lifetime. Or achieve what no intelligent person has ever achieved. What is the highest achievement in the world of academia, doctor? Jojo inquired. Oh, that must be the Nobel Prizes. The doctor replied. Great. The Nobel Peace Prize, here I come. The end. Recorded by Patience Primpet.